Welcome back everybody. My name is Andy Haygood and I'm the Habersham County 4-H agent and BB coach. Today we're going to be talking about the kneeling position. So let's go ahead and discuss the rules and then we'll build that position. One thing that we need to remember about the kneeling position and the rules that we're about to discuss is that they are written for a right-handed shooter or a right-eyed shooter. Um, if you are left-eye dominant, you should reverse these directions. So I'll go ahead and say that up front. I'll remind you again at the end. But a right-eyed shooter should have his right foot, right knee, and left foot on the ground. The gun is supported with both hands and the right shoulder. The left elbow should be on the left knee. A sling may be used. A kneeling roll may be used. No portion of the upper leg or buttocks can touch the ground. And remember, a left eye dominant shooter should reverse these directions. First, arrange your body at about a 45 degree angle from the target. Place the kneeling roll under your right ankle, making sure that your right toes and knee are both touching the ground. Place your left foot on the ground with your heel next to the kneeling roll. This may look silly, but it provides a very stable, compact foundation. Bring the rifle to your shoulder and drop your right elbow to your side. Remember that this position benefits from being very compact. Flapping wings will only hurt your stability. Place the left elbow on the left knee. Take several deep breaths. Let the final breath out all the way and then hold your breath. Line up your sights and squeeze the trigger. If it takes more than about eight seconds to acquire your target, take a few more breaths and try again, or you might start to shake. Your coach should be keeping track of time, and you have 10 minutes to shoot 10 targets, so don't worry about taking too much time. If you choose not to use a kneeling roll, that's okay, but your foot can be at any angle that you want it to be as long as your upper leg nor your buttocks touch the ground. Remember, this position is all about being compact and stable. The more you spread yourself out, the more you're gonna rely on muscular support instead of skeletal support. And then you're gonna to start to get weak and shaky and you're gonna be a whole lot worse whenever it comes time to score your targets. Let your bones hold you in place. They're not gonna get tired like your muscles do. Now in 4-H, we pledge our hearts to greater loyalty. In this time of the COVID-19 outbreak, this loyalty can be loyalty to our families. In an attempt to keep your family safe, please follow all the recommendations that the CDC has put out. Don't travel unnecessarily. Don't do anything that could spread the virus. And please be respectful of the health and safety of the elderly and the immunocompromised. Whatever you do, for heaven's sake, wash your paws. We'll see you next time and practice safe.